don't know if you know right where you're sitting down. If God shows you a man in London to marry you, and you give up your food for one week, God will transport that man down to this your place. If he misses your house, you can scold him. He will not complain. But after that visit, the, the wedding. And that wedding will produce great results. Wow. Any girl who wants it here? Are you sure? Then I want to announce that the miracle has started already. Yeah. Yes, we are back to First King chapter 3. Verse 3. What does it say? And yes, go on. And Solomon loved the Lord, walking in the status of, his, of David his father. Only he sacrificed and burnt incense in high places. And the king went to Gibeon to sacrifice there. For well, that was a great high place. A thousand burnt offerings did Solomon offer upon that altar. Can we run down to the book of Matthew, chapter 23? Let's see verse 37. I'll be stopping around there. I, we, the, the road in your state has suddenly become worse than the road in Abia. Matthew 23, 37. Oh, yes. Jerusalem. Oh, eh? No, no, no. 23, Matthew 23, 37. Yes, sir. Says, yes. which is the greatest commandment of the law? Jesus said, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. What does that mean? An offering you cannot give to God must not be given to your husband or your wife. Service you can give to God, don't give it to any other person. We are called to love God and above every other person around us. Two of you do your business and lead me out of your discussion. <laughs> I thought and said to the master, Oh God, Madam, no one hear your side of the story. Can we continue? <laughs> But to have Jesus visit in your house is a mark of honor. It shows you have done something that amazed him and something he's grateful for. Can we see the book of Hebrews chapter 6 verse 10? For God is not unrighteous. God is not unrighteous. To forget your work and labor of love. I don't know any day you sing from this platform and you sing well, this God will bless you and remember you. He will likely visit you. I have seen Jesus 14 times. In 1972, no, 74, I was going to speak at the University of Ife. I didn't know my way to the university, to their gate. I packed my car and said a short prayer. Father, help me locate this university. I don't know the place. I'm only a speaker. Help me. As I started the engine of my car, somebody moved to the driver's seat without opening the door. Okay? Are you a human being? He said, move on, move on. You want to know how to get to Ife University? I said, yes, sir. He said, hey, that's why I'm here. Move, move. As we got to the gate, he disappeared. I packed my car, began to cry. What did I do? He was Jesus. I said, I could hold him. 